What's up guys? It's your girl Lady T, the life coach, and I'm here with another video. And today, well, first of all, let me say Happy New Year, because this is the first day of the new year, 2020, and I'm so glad that everybody made it. I'm so happy that I'm here alive and well, and that you are too, and you're able to see my video. And I just want to say, you know, this movie, it really touched me because it was called 200 Pound Beauty. And what it was about briefly, I won't take long explaining it, but what it was about was this, you know, girl who was very, very big. She was over 200 pounds and she felt very insecure, very, um, you know, just very ugly, very big because she was big. And uh, she had a job as, uh, of singing behind the scenes for a person who was very pretty, very skinny, and, you know, very famous. But she was behind the scenes. She had the beautiful voice. She was the talent. She had the talent. The other girl didn't have any talent at all. She had the look. So um, let me just wrap it up. The, the moral of the story was... She just felt like she just wasn't good enough and she wanted to look like the other girl. She wanted to look pretty. She wanted to be skinny. She wanted to, you know, be uh, considered to be pretty because of her weight and how she looked. So she went and got a total, total um, body re reformation, reformation. It totally changed her body from head to toe. Plastic surgery boob job, everything, you name it. She got it done because she didn't feel pretty. She didn't feel good enough. And I think that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about this today because this is a really touchy subject today in society. What's considered to be pretty? What's considered to be beautiful? You know, it shouldn't matter how you look. If you're big, if you're small, if you're tall, if you're short, you know, it shouldn't matter because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's what you consider to be beautiful. You are beautiful just the way you are. And who is the, the person that is the determining factor of what pretty and beautiful is? Who is the one to say that tall and skinny and light is beautiful and short, fat, dark is ugly? Who is the, who's the one to be the judge of beauty? It shouldn't be anybody but who, who's looking in the mirror. We all have flaws. We all have things that we don't like about ourselves, but we should never feel insecure to the point where we want to change ourselves to please the world or to please a person who we think loves us. Because if the person really loves you, they'll love you for who you are and what you look like. You shouldn't have to alter anything. And I will say this, if you do want to alter something, it should be for you. It should never ever be to please someone else. Because like I said, who determines what beauty is? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Whoever is looking at it, it's, it's up to them to decide whether they think it's beautiful or pretty or not. Society should not, society should not determine to you what's beauty or what's pretty. That shouldn't be an issue with you. It will never be one with me because I don't care what people think. It's what I think about myself. And that's the same way you should be. You should care about what you think about yourself and you shouldn't care about what other people say or think about you. Because let me tell you something, when God created all of us and we came out of our parents, he didn't make anyone the same. Even twins are different to a certain extent. Everyone is an individual. And he know he didn't make anybody like me. He didn't make anybody like you. So we don't need to be a carbon copy of anybody else. And nobody needs to copy us because we're originals. And I believe God did it that way for a reason so that we could be appreciative of who we are as individuals. We don't have to be someone else. We don't have to uh, look up to somebody and say, I wanna be, you know, look like this person. Maybe be like that person, because some people are role models, some people are, you know, entrepreneurs, and we wanna maybe get a career or something like that. But we should never live our lives, you know, according to somebody else and how they're living. 
and what they look like. You're beautiful because you're beautiful in your own right. And it shouldn't matter what anybody else says. Don't try to fix yourself for other people. Yeah, there are things, there's things I want to do to fix myself. But I'm going to do it because of what I feel. I feel like I want to make some improvements here. So I'm going to do it. But it won't be for anyone else. We got so many people that are insecure right now because of what other people make them feel like. They make them feel fat or too skinny or ugly or pretty. It shouldn't be like that. Know who you are, like I said in a, a, a former video. Know who you are and know your self-worth. And know that you are beautiful within your own self. You don't need validation from anybody else, no matter what you look like. We are all beautiful people. We're all beautiful because who determines what's beautiful? It's certainly not the outside appearance. It's certainly not that. Who we are is who we are on the inside. Our spirit and our soul, that's what makes us who we are. That's the real person, the insides. What kind of heart do you have? Do you love people? Are you kind to people? Do you do good to people? That's the person, not the appearance. So you can be black and white and Chinese and Indian and all these other nationalities. That doesn't determine whether you look good or not. It doesn't determine whether you're pretty or ugly. If you're tall or short, it doesn't determine if you're beautiful or not. You ought to be beautiful to yourself. Because if you don't think that you are beautiful, nobody else will ever think that you're beautiful. If you don't think that you own up and you're good enough and you're worth it, nobody else will ever think it. You've got to think it first for yourself. You have to have self-esteem, a high self-esteem. You have, to, you have to think that way about yourself. You can't determine, you know, what your feelings are going to be because of what somebody else feels about you. You'll never, ever get along in life worrying about what other people think about how you look. About how you look. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you're beautiful, that you're pretty, that you're handsome if you're a guy, or you're cute if you're a guy. Don't let it be for nobody else. Don't let, them t don't let them dictate to you what beauty is. Because like I said, we're all beautiful in our own right. Because what you have, I might not have. And what I have, you may not have it. What I can do, you might not be able to do. And what you can do, I may never be able to do it. We have qualities. We have different uh, 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 gifts and talents, and, and there's something that you can do that nobody else can do it better than you. And likewise with me, there are some things that I can do that I might be able to outdo anybody. So we're all different. And God purposely made us to be different. He didn't make us like anybody else. So to me, in my opinion, we're all beautiful. We are all beautiful people. Sometimes we don't act like it. We got some 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 tyrants out here who just don't act right. But we are supposed to be beautifully and wonderfully made and designed by God to be just that what he created, beautiful. Beautiful, so you are beautiful. I don't care if you're big, fat, skinny, tall, short, dark, light. You are beautiful if you believe that you are. And if you look in the mirror and that you see in that mirror that that's a beautiful figure image in that mirror that's who you are that's who you are it's not what anybody else thinks and don't ever ever get with a person who looks at the way you look to determine whether or not they want to be with you or not if your looks are the only thing that's important to them you're with the wrong person because you should be able to be in your natural state if your hair ain't combed if you don't, you don't have any makeup on or for guys, if you're bald-headed or have full a full head of hair, if they don't like you because of the way you look, you're with the wrong person. Get with somebody else who don't mind you being who you are as an individual. God didn't make no mistakes when he made you or me. He didn't make no mistakes. He knew who, who would be your parents. He knew when you would come into this earth. He knew exactly how you were going to look. And he did not make a mistake. 
And as soon as you start seeing the beauty in your own self, then others will see it around you because it's what you attract. If you attract that negativity and that, oh my God, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm skinny, I'm too skinny, I'm too big, I'm too dark, I'm too light. If you think that, then that's exactly what you are attracting. Those opinions, those stares and those looks and those, you know, those, uh, I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Whatever you want to call it, but that's what you're attracting. You have to see the beauty inside of you. You have to know that you're beautiful. You have to know it within your heart and in your soul. And if the inside is beautiful, almost 90% of the time, the outside will reflect that. No, 100% of the time, the outside will reflect the beauty that is within. There's, you don't have to even prove it because it's how you act towards people. If you smile and you say hello and you're kind and generous and you know how to treat people, that's beautiful. Not the way you look. But even in, in the way you look, if, you, if you're good to people, it, it reflects it. It shows it. People don't see your appearance when you're good and kind to people. When you're, when you're loving and caring, they don't even see the appearance. They see the soul and the spirit and the heart of the person. That's who you truly are. Don't worry about other, what other people say or think or what they feel. You're beautiful because you that's who you are. Don't ever worry about what people say or think. I never have and I never will. And yes, I have flaws. I want to get my teeth fixed right now. But you know what? I'm still beautiful and ain't nobody going to tell me that I'm not. And you need to have the same attitude. Don't get with no guy or no girl who, who, who cares about how you look. If they don't like the way you look, tell them to step to the left. Because there's somebody else out there who's just right for you and who's going to love you just the way you are. And you don't need to prove nothing or do nothing out of the ordinary. They'll love you just who, the way you are. And that's a fact. That's a fact. God made you perfectly, and he made you wonderfully in his image, his likeness. So know your beauty. Know you're beautiful. Stop letting people dictate to you. Doesn't matter. You better think good of your own self. You better know who you are. And so no one could ever come along and tell you anything different. You better know it for yourself. All right, guys, this is your girl, Lady T, the life coach. And I just wanted to share that because I had just watched that movie, uh, 200 Pound Beauty. And get, get the title, 200 Pound Beauty. That means she was 200 pounds, but she was still beautiful. Skinny does not determine beauty, and neither does fat. She was beautiful in her own right. And she got all these surgeries done not knowing that she was already beautiful before she got them done because she was still the person on the inside. And guess what? She got tired of the image that she had already uh, transformed into. She wanted the old one back, even though it was too late, but she had to find the beauty that was within herself. And this is what we all have to do. We have to find the beauty that is within, and it will reflect the beauty that's on the outside. All right, guys, this is your girl, Lady T, the Life Coach. And please, guys, remember to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in every time and supporting me. I appreciate it. And I hope that every time I speak to you guys, it has been impactful and helpful. All right, guys, see you on the next video. Bye-bye.